DK Metcalf with a touchdown grab in the back of the end zone with the clock winding down to secure a win for the first team offense. What's going on 12's Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. On Sunday the team held their final scheduled mock game of training camp and with the regular season just two weeks out, Pete Carroll said they accomplished what they needed to as they prepare for week one. We had great, great work today. Um, got a bunch of plays in, wanted to really uh, put our, our players in as many situations as we could so they have to think game-like and uh, and it, it worked out we had all kind you know everything that we need to do field position wise and then we come right down to the last offense got to win the game with a minute 40 left and in a couple timeouts and then finish with four plays left four seconds left on the clock it was really good for both sides of the ball and a lot of realistic situations came up that we'll learn from so we go into next week next week is really kind of the uh, the mock week uh, for an in-season week, and so that adjusts us some with the, the routine that we do, and we'll simulate um, each each day of the week um, as we would, uh, you know, when the, the following week for the regular game. So um, that's an important week for us as well. So everything's gone very well. Uh, we're going to get some guys back on Tuesday. Uh, I think two or three receivers come come back to us have just just about there today, but they couldn't quite make it. Um, so that'll be nice and and. Um, Looking really looking forward to seeing this film. It should be a great film for us to see. With no preseason games we've seen throughout camp and today, the first team offense go up against the first team defense more than usual. It's just really competitive. That's the best part of it. There's so much pride on that field, you know, and everybody wants to come out on top and they know we're going to come in here and watch the highlights and all that kind of stuff. They know that they're battling, you know, just, just for some swag and also um, is really good. It, it's uh, it's so valuable and the guys are playing so fast that it, it feels game like it feels game speed. And, and that's all we could hope for here. That's what you're trying to capture, you know, in, in when you don't have preseason games. Uh, you want to get it as often as you can so it's as normal as possible. And so it's worked out great. Since returning from Georgia after dealing with the death in the family, running back Chris Carson participated in his second day of practice on Sunday, and he looked just like his old self with several explosive carries. Chris has got fresh legs. He's, you know, he's been out of camp some with his family situations that he had to take care of. Uh, he looked great today. He was flying around, looked really light on his feet. He's got fresh legs and uh, showed uh, it was a good day, good hot day for him to work. Rookie running back DJ Dallas continues to impress the coaching staff on all levels, whether it's in the run or passing game, as well as on special teams. Yeah, he's been a stud. You know, he hasn't missed anything. He's taken tons of snaps. He's really picked things up really well. Uh, he catches the ball really well. Uh, his, his pass protection, we had a pass protection drill. I can't wait to see the film on that one. He's working hard there. Uh, he, he really gives us, uh, I mean, right from the first few days he was with us, uh, I know Russ and the coaches, were they, they really felt conf the confidence in him. He, he runs routes really well. He catches the ball beautifully. And, and, uh, and so that gave him kind of a, a leg up on, on his start. And he's done everything quite well. So he's been right in the middle of it. And he's right in the midst of all of the competition on special teams as well. So... Um, he's been a terrific pick for us so far. Veteran wide receiver Paul Richardson is back with the Seahawks. Sunday was his first day on the practice field and his first look at the offense under Brian Schottenheimer. I see that this the tempo has picked up. It picked up a lot. Um, there's a lot of carryover from when I was here before, so it seems uh, it's been a, a nice mix of um, you know what Russell was comfortable with and what he liked, and then what you know Shotty was able to bring and incorporate and elevate the offense. So. Um, you know, I've been kind of having fun learning, you know, the new terminology, the new language, and, you know, I'm happy that I was able to pick up on a lot of the carryover. With the regular season just two weeks out, Coach Carroll says the team is ready to go but needs to get healthy. As far as going into the, you know, two weeks here, you know, this is kind of like if you were getting ready for the Super Bowl, you'd have two weeks to do it, kind of like what that what this is. Um, for, for us, it means, you know, who's going to be available to us is what, uh, of concern. I like where we're going. We've had really high-level practices against one another, and, uh, and we've had a ton of situations. With the leadership that we have, the experienced leadership, it feels like we're, we're in a good position uh, to, you know, to finish off camp and get ready for the season. So I feel really good about it. We came out of the game the other day, which was for us was like the third preseason game. Um, where we wouldn't play the, the, the veterans much in the game four. And so that was a little bit uh, effect today. Worked out well. So um, we're feeling pretty good about it. We need to stay healthy and get healthier as, as we get ready for the opener. Well, the Seahawks have Monday off in the return for their final week of training camp before they fully switch over to game mode and start preparing for week one against the Atlanta Falcons.